Here we are live. We have a very simple question. I didn't trash this guy much, but Matt, I'm glad you emailed me very early uh, because you are about to make a horrible mistake. I'm not saying that to be funny. I'm not saying it. I am saying it, though, because June is Worthless Degree Awareness Month. And Windows 10 is barking orders at me. Greetings, asshole. My name is Matt, and I'm 19. Since I wasn't any good at the sports ball as a kid, I spent a solid chunk of time drawing. I've easily... I spent easily over a thousand hours drawing, and my specialty is portraiture. There's a lot of pressure from my family to go to college, of course, because they want to brag about you. Now, it's not in your best interest because they're parents from the book. There's a lesson to learn here for you, Melania. Well, you Gen Zers now, that's one part why this book was written to help the Gen Zers. Most parents love themselves more than they love their children. If your parents loved you, they take the time to research the advice they're giving you and say, that's not a good idea. All right, but they need to brag about you. They need our son to ding it, ding it, ding. So that's you got to consider that. <clears throat> uh, so I've been going to community college and getting an associate's, living at home for the past year, saving pennies and dimes, except for the occasional McDanky. Is that Mickey D's? Is that your vision of the Mickey D's now? What are your thoughts on my situation? Your advice seems to be 100% correct all the time. I wish it was, but sometimes I'm wrong. But yes, it's, it's like 99.8% right. Uh, here's the deal, dude. <clears throat> is an art degree worthless for an artist? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Now let's, let's first go to the origin of most artists. Not all, but most. Most people become artists because they're lazy. Okay. Most people along the same line become musicians because they're lazy. They don't want to work. Right now, I know my buddy Matt Baldoni, a musical artist. If he's not performing or hustling, he is practicing some new technique, uh, perfecting and optimizing his equipment. He eats, breathes, and speaks guitar. And you could see it when he plays. Right? Well, top 1% 1 of 1% of, uh, of, of guitars out there. He also has a hard work ethic. He always is always out there hustling, hustling, hustling. <clears throat> and he's one of the few musicians to have made it. He he makes a living. Now he's not, you know, he's not Aerosmith, but he's made a living. Okay. Uh, now that's musical art, but it's the same thing. For every one of him, there are literally a thousand wannabe musicians and artists who want all the fame and the girls and the money, but they don't want to put in the work. All right. And also, since art and music is fun, it's flooded with even more people than the education industry per job offer out there. Right? Now, you didn't do the sports ball. Let's be honest. Was it because you were too lazy? I don't know how kids can't do sports. I mean, I loved playing sports when I was a kid. But you weren't any good at the sport. Well, didn't you have fun with it anyway? I wasn't good at I was good at football. No one would assume I could run that fast or like, you know, <laughs> bad at baseball. Not that good. I was a good fielder, but... Um, uh, but excellent at badminton, but I, I wasn't going to go to no championships. Did, did you play sports at all? Or did you choose art? Cause you got to stay in and it didn't take it. How fat are you? That's another thing. Are you in shape? I want to know if you're in shape. If you, cause it, we can address this art issue now and I could prevent you from making one mistake, but if you are about to make this mistake because of laziness, well, you're going to make future mistakes. All right. And no doubt that you live at home. Your parents can say, well, if you're not going to go to school for art, what are you going to do? So then you have to remember it's Worthless Degree Awareness Month and get the book Worthless and read through this and find out what you can do. Hint, you don't have to go to college, go to trade school, go to the military, go work right away. <clears throat> uh, but if you're lazy, fine, we solve this one problem, but that doesn't address the underlying issue that you're lazy. So it's a real question of whether you have a work ethic or not. You're 19 and you live at home. I get it. It's not the 90s or the 80s anymore. Rent's a lot more expensive. Okay, I get it. All right. But you better choose a career and a profession that pays, and then you pursue your art on the side. Now, if for whatever reason, you're an amazingly talented artist, and you put a lot of time into this, so no doubt you have some skills. <clears throat> you could probably start making some money on the side. You know, maybe uh, you offer things to high school seniors. You'll draw their portrait instead of one of these stupid pictures they do outside nowadays. 
there's there's some opportunity for you there. And I am not saying you should not pursue art. If you like art and art is your thing and it makes you happy, then go and do it. That is not a job. That is not a job. And most artists do this. Well, I'm going to do my art until someone pays me. No. And then they live off of everybody else, be it the government, their parents, or a combination of both. You go work a real job, like whatever, programming, coding, IT. <clears throat> Uh, I'm, here's what you could do. My buddy Khan, who is the greatest artist I know, uh, he would work security so he could work on his art. Now, he's still po because he had no business acumen. He didn't want to learn about the internet. Uh, but he got a lot of his works done while getting paid working late night security. So that's something you could do, but security is not a long-term viable career. I mean, if you're a single guy, you could do it, sure. But no, you absolutely... Do not cripple yourself going to art school, paying for art school, paying for an art degree, because it's practice. It's not, and it is, you've got to understand the, the contradiction or hypocrisy or the irony of uh, uh, art school. Well, if you're such a good artist, why are you teaching? You know, if you're such a good musician, why are you teaching music? Will it help to learn some technique? Oh, sure. But, you know, you got YouTube for that now. I mean, don't you dare drop a penny on some washed-up professor who couldn't make it now teaches art at the local community college. I mean, that's like Durka Durka. Not Durka Durka. Derp. 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 Derp land. Derp. 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 No. You got... And I never... Look, man, if you got to go to art school, you don't have it in you. All right, pick up some tools of the trade, learn a technique. All right, but you don't go to school for that. Not to be, again, it's like being taught entrepreneurship by some washed up professor who's never started a job at the Carlson School of Management. All right, it's like ah, another perfect one. I knew these two young uh, sisters, I think they were twins. I didn't know this. The University of Minnesota has a fashion design program, it's over in St. Paul. I'm like, what St. Paul? It's not Milan, that's not Paris. They just designed the ugliest shit imaginable. <laughs> Why? Because they were lazy. They don't they want, oh, it was my passion. I want to design clothes. I don't want to do anything the world wants me to. I don't want to design clothes. They're like, it looks like shit. Looks like shit. No one's going to buy that. <clears throat> and, and now you can absolutely go do that on your own. You could be self-taught. And come on, guys. The price that they're asking for a college degree, four years of your life, uh, and then, and then, what is it? A hundred thousand on the cheap when all the fees and books and all that is said and done. After they fully get their dick inside your ass and rub it around a little bit, that's the not to, the tip is just the tuition. The rest of all those fees, parking fees, all that. No, man, you're not going to art school. Nobody should go to art school. If there's a guy or a gal that you really like who's an artist you respect. See if you can mentor under them. Have them teach you their talents. Have them teach them their way. But no, you don't go to stop it with the college, guys. Just stop it with the college. I know why you want to go to college, because you got nothing else to do. Because you think it's going to be fun. This is your birthright. This is your own time. This is your land of Canaan. This is what you get. This is your reward for suffering in the K through 12 prison system, being forced to study what you what you really didn't want to. <clears throat> and now here you are. Oh, it's college. I did. See what college did to the millennials, huh? They're all still at the student loan debts, huh? All right, there you go. Uh, oh, wow, Super Chats came in. Judd Grover for five bucks. Speaking of our great examples of mainstream characters going their own way, Snoopy, Bart S Simpson, Calvin Cartman, Bender, Roger Smith, thoughts. Uh, who's Roger Smith? <clears throat> I know the rest of them, but like Matt Groening, uh... Bill Watterson or Patterson? I think it was Bill pa Watterson that did Calvin. Uh, Cartman, that's uh, Trey Stone and the other guy. I, I, pre I presume they didn't go to school. Hey, you know who didn't go to school for puppetry? Jim Henderson. They didn't have it. Uh, yeah, man. Don't. just it, It's almost a guarantee if you have to go to art school, you're not an artist. Joe Jones for four, uh, five bucks. Just be a victim. Victimhood status is the best asset to have in America today. Highest rate of return for no effort. Yeah, I guess. You're still going to be poor. 
That's why, I mean, how much money do I have to flood to single moms? I mean, they're not rich. I mean, people who make bad decisions make bad decisions all the time. And you could give them, you know, a ha, ha, ha. Let's bail the, the, the banks. I wonder if they're going to make a bad decision. Oh, we need reparations. I wonder if you're going to make bad decisions. Yeah, Are you going to throw it in the S&P 500 and pay off student loan? You're going to go buy shit. What are you going to do? <laughs> he could be a victim. Yeah, if you're a smart victim, you take the money and then you reinvest it in a rental property or something. Okay, yeah. You could be a smart victim, but most most people go to victimhood as a profession because they're too lazy. And, and they're too lazy to think. And they're too lazy to make hard decisions or sacrifice. DJ Aftershock for two bucks. Become a teacher and teach it to six hours. Yeah, there you go. See, it's the circle of why bother with most liberal arts degrees. Go major into things so that you could teach other people in the in the future to major in that, that thing so that they could go teach those kids in the future. But none of you ever produce a damn look of production or value or worth for society outside of it. Go become a teacher. Teachers doing jack fuck all shit except wasting taxpayers' money. <clears throat> all right, that's it. More on the way. I'll see you guys later. Toodles.